Yo, what's good people? Everyday Superpower signing in, the place where we talk about body language, non-verbal communication, everything in between, a little bit of game, a little bit of relationship stuff, communication as a whole. Do you, and this is the question of the day people, do you identify, and if so, how well do you identify your shadow side? It's a deep one, it's a deep one. How well... Do you identify your shadow side, your negative traits that you try to hide outside of your conscious awareness? The negative patterns you find yourself within, the uh, toxic relationships and circumstances and options you take. Can you identify this, right? So have a look. Think about the people you engage with and what you don't necessarily, you know, what characteristics you find in others and how they treat you and how you find that, you know, bad, bad, toxic, negative, everything in between. Have a look at that and then take the magnifying glass and place it upon yourself and say, wait a minute, is this a reflection of who I am as a person? Are they engaging and relating to me in this manner? Because of how I am triggering them in mine. I mean this is really uh, well identified as far as romantic relationships are concerned. Purely as their powerful experiences. And are you finding yourself finishing these relationships in the same manner each and every time? Are you finding yourself arguing over the same things? And this doesn't have to be over multiple people. Although it does emphasise the fact this is over one long-term relationship, what do you keep arguing over? You can continue blaming them for the matter, but there's two people and how you're engaging and, you know, playing the rebound of this communication obviously isn't working well, so you have to fix up your reaction purely as you can't go out of your way to rewire somebody else's subconscious and hardwiring. You get where I'm coming from. So you have to look in within yourself. Look at the toxicity and the bad situations that consistently play out in your life. Or maybe the mundane situations. So you find yourself stuck in a rut. As we like um, consistency. We like patterns. We like things to be comfortable. Anything external to that is quite shocking. Alright. We like to know what we're seeing. So. What detrimental ruts are you falling in within and then look at the well it's easier said than done but you want to start uncoiling the situation does it link to trauma if so how deep does that trauma stem and this might very well be outside of your conscious understanding you know as a trauma response is to repress such memories and awkward experiences just to ensure that we can get through life a little more comfortable right but the experience still persists and still manifests itself in our communications and in our day-to-day now there might be specific people who trigger this element in you or particular ideas that target you from a particular space so let's say for example you don't feel comfortable with being weak you know in a particular circumstance that might be the foundation now when you apply that into a particular way so you don't like being weak around authority figures with further highlighted that right and you don't like to be weak around domineering uh, masculine authority figures yeah you have a disdain towards that particular side have a look in yourself because there's a space in the back of your mind that might have been triggered from you as a child falling out with a um, you know less than positive father figure 
who has planted this seed in your mind or maybe a abandonment of such which has created this disdain so this is the depth of the roots and the uncoiling we need to do and then we need to go further in that find understanding of a situation find understanding within ourselves and you know sometimes that can't all be done by ourselves or sometimes it might just come to the light in the most random of times you know now that might put you in a, a negative uh, situation or a positive. So what negative cycles do you get yourself into? What shadowed element of your personality that you don't consciously come across or you do but perceive it in a more positive and ne necessary manner? What do you manifest that affects not only you but maybe others in a negative light and where does it stem from? I can't tell you, you need to tell me because I don't know who you are and for the most part I can't delve deep into the inner depths of your soul but then it's ever so hard for you to do so as well so it's incredibly problematic and a lifelong journey in order to see the depths that exist within us, the fathoms of deep darkness that exists within us that we don't acknowledge the existence of. But when we speak to someone once, twice, over a period of a year, ten years, you know, so on and so forth, these slight and slow patterns do emerge and we could keep wraps of them and you know, coddle them ever so tight, but if you, you know, spend a long time consistently exposing yourself to another person, they're going to see all of you, and they're going to see so much of you that you don't even see yourself, and when you have the mirror raised before you, and said, you act in this way, this is that and that, you're going to blame the other person, as a means of defending yourself and purely because you are naive to the fact it is you that is the problem. You know? To this day, you know, I can still uh, fall into dispute with people believing that it's them that has created the issue. Of course it's not. I am existing within this space as well, like a game of tennis. I should have had the ball hit towards me and I should have deflected it back over to the other side in clear, consistent, harmonious communication. But instead, that ball's just flown past me. I've lost. I've not balanced it out. I've not found a clear way of communicating and establishing response to that and it struck me where it's hurt potentially, it struck me um, in places I didn't even know existed and I've responded in a manner that's only sent the communication down and down and down. Now that might be my dark side communicating with theirs because they just as well could just shrug it off and say, you're being an idiot, shut up. But when they react in an emotional manner and then that reflects off of them into me, into my emotions, we create this big emotional cesspit and nobody on planet Earth, unless you really have some sort of deficit, is fully capable of preventing this experience, this emotional trigger. We all have them. But how well do you identify them? How self-aware of self are you? We, we spoke not so long back on assessing and understanding your own non-verbal cues. Can you find your triggers and the way you react? Can you feel your body constricting and opening and closing in relation to the stimuli you are experiencing? Because you won't do it 100% of the time, but from time to time you will be able to clock onto that as you start to become more self-aware. And on the channel we speak on leaving our own skin and getting behind 
underneath the skin and through the eyes of others, viewing the world from their perspective and being able to, you know, communicate on a better basis purely through that. So it might seem a little bit detrimental in order to be so self-aware, but what we're paying attention to is our subconscious that goes underneath our conscious we are consciously trying to pay attention to what our body subconsciously does in a way we are still observing and assessing a foreign land of body a foreign land of psychology it just happens to be our own it's dark not because it's detrimental it's dark because it's in a darker recess it's buried it's hidden away and the problem is it's hidden away from not everybody, but more so ourselves. We are hiding ourselves from ourselves and we need to start to use others around us and the world around us as a mirror to assess and understand how we act and communicate in ways we do not even know. And 99% of people aren't going to do that. So by default, you doing that places you on a level of conscious awareness above and beyond the norm, okay? And that was a little ramble. Do you know your shadow? Are you aware of your shadow? What toxic traits, what negative patterns, what detrimental triggers do you have? And what are you aware of and how deep does it stem and how aware of the depth are you? Can you prevent them? Who knows? I'm signing out.